Okay, Chef, can you tell us what you're going to be cooking today? Okay, today, I'm going to show you a recipe from my cookbook. Um, I just love this recipe because Christmas is coming. It's one of the easiest recipes to make. And it's got a little bit of the spice kick in the dressing. And that's what, I mean, today is all about. Because this is one of those, um, it's great for vegetarians. Okay. And it's super easy. Okay. Because what is the name of... A lot of us are home cooks too. Right. It's perfect. So today, actually, I'm going to show you two versions of it. Okay. One on how to plate it. And one, actually, how you can present it at home with your friends. Okay, great. Yeah. What is the name of your cookbook? Beetroot, uh, oh, New Indian Cooking. Uh, New, New Indian Kitchen. New uh, Indian Kitchen. Where yes. can people find this cookbook? Uh, MPH, Borders, Kinokunia, almost all major bookstores or online. Okay, and, online. The, and the name of this dish is? Beetroot Carpaccio. It's like the beef carpaccio version but of it. But beetroot. Yeah. Okay. No, it's too big. <laughs> okay, all right. Please give Chef Samna Anan a big round of applause. She's going to start her beetroot carpaccio. Hi. Hi, good evening. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes from the cookbook. I hope by evening it's going to turn out your favorite. <coughs> it's one of the easiest recipes. My husband there is vegetarian, so I have to come up with a lot of vegetarian cooking and sometimes we cannot eat you know, a lot of Indian food. So we try to do, a, I, I try to come up with something innovative and one of it is this recipe. It's a beetroot uh, that's baked. What I usually do is I have the oven preheated at 180 degrees to 200 degrees Celsius. Sorry, it's a bit loose. 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, once it's heated up, let me show you how it's done, how the beets go into the oven. So you have a whole beet. Don't peel it off. Take off the bottom, which usually, let me show you, this is how it is. So you cut that off. You, peel, uh, you cut the bottom off so it kind of goes flat. And this is what you get. This is washed, rinsed. Now let me show you how it's baked. Usually what would we do? We just go boil it. And then you have to worry about, oh, it's boiling for one hour. Oh my God, there's not enough water. You're running. And trust me, beetroot takes about an hour to do that. You don't want to do that. One okay? hour to actually boil. I mean, boil. To, to me, <laughs> wow. on low heat. And then you have to keep filling in water. So okay. for me, foolproof, even at the restaurant, I don't have to worry. And I feel like the flavors are all coming in. Is This is what I do. So I have the foil here. I've got the beetroot to it. Two pods of garlic. You can put as many. Because okay. what, what happens is this garlic actually goes into the dressing later. Okay. Because that's also cooking. All right. Okay? So you're going to put the garlic with it yes. together. Yes. Two pods of garlic go in there. A tiny bit of salt. I'll tell you what salt does here. It actually brings in a little bit of moisture okay. while cooking. So salt helps it also to cook. Okay. And to that, olive oil. You can olive use oil. any oil, but I prefer olive oil. That's it. Just drizzle on top like that's that. That's it. Yeah. How long did you say it's going to take to bake okay, this? This one, usually a size like this, uh, will take about 40 minutes, but you don't have to worry. Okay. You just, just leave put it. it in. Go watch Netflix. Okay. <laughs> and just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. At least you know it's not going to you know, overcook, boil, yeah. run out of water. <clears throat> That's it. So how you wrap this up, let me show you. You loosely wrap it, not too tight. Okay. Because if it's too tight, I feel that there's not enough moisture and air to circulate. Okay. And takes longer to cook. So don't wrap it too tight, just uh, yes. like a little bag. Yes, that little bag. You put about two beets in it, three beets in it. So what I've also tried is actually baking other like sweet potatoes and stuff and it works really well. So that's it. That goes into the oven like okay. that. Sometimes we do it a day before to save time because yeah. it takes a bit of time. That goes into the oven at 210 degrees Celsius for about 40 uh, minutes or 200 to be more safe. Done. Okay. Okay. And then well, how, how you tell it's done, when you pull it off, you actually have to be careful because of steam. Okay. So you take a knife, you pierce it through. If it goes in smoothly, it's you done. know it's done. Right. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Then you take the skin off and once you can use a mandolin slicer so like this that. is the one that's done already yes mandolin okay. slicer and just like the beef carpaccio look what we've got yeah it does look like beef carpaccio yes, except that's the vegetarian beetroot. Beetroot. right nice. very healthy too this is my way of getting the kids to eat ah too. so okay. do they think it's beef no no <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's that let me show you the next one but if you anybody has any questions so far on that they can ask me okay Okay, now to make the dressing, let me show you quickly how the dressing is made. For this, usually, uh, the tip of making a dressing is I do not start with olive oil. Okay. I start with the rest of the ingredients and olive oil goes in the end because it just 
What is Why? the reason for that? Emulsification. And sometimes okay. it does not come together to make it thick. So what happens is when you whisk and as you drizzle olive oil in the end, whether you're making this dressing or any dressing at home, tip, olive oil goes last. Okay. Always. Last. Okay? So what well, this is a ginger dressing. To me, a super good combination is ginger and beetroot and dill. You'll see how I'm gonna use it. So for the ginger dressing, let me show you. Sorry, I'm just gonna grab. Can my I help you? Sc scraper. What do you want? My scraper is in there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Fuck off. It's my bag, my bag, my, my trolley, my bag. Okay, so you can finely chop or you can grate. So ginger goes in there, but if you're not a big fan of ginger, you can skip it. You can always add just the garlic, but trust me, when you have this, you will see what it means. Ginger makes a big difference. Spill ginger. If you're using the bentong variety, you've got to slow or go slow. Bentong ginger. Yeah, yeah, this is fresh ginger, right. so it's a bit light. Bentong ginger is really, really strong. Yeah. Do you like our bentong ginger? I love it. Yeah? I just think it really gives a lot of flavour to your dishes. Does Goa have that kind of ginger as well? Mm, the, usually the dry variety, yes. Okay. But not that strong. Okay. I, I still like the bentong ginger. Okay, so that's ginger there. Tiny bit of salt. Salt. Now, the spice that I add in is a cumin powder. Okay. And I've, I've actually kept some spices here. Yeah, just there's a to lot. show you that how you can actually use any spice. I prefer cumin because it gives that nice warm flavour and you will see when you eat it what it does. But this is toasted cumin. Look at how it looks there and look at what happens when it's toasted. Toasted it's, cumin yeah, it smells looks completely different from... Yes, you can see that. That's just raw, right? Yeah, smell it. Yeah. The difference. Toasted and powdered. So the toasted one smells so much stronger. Yes. That goes in. Okay. Balsamic vinegar. Now, if you don't want balsamic vinegar, just replace with lime juice. Works too. And honey. Honey? Yes, for the sweetness. You can use agave if you're on, on, on diet and don't want to have yeah. sugar. So you can replace it with any, anything you prefer. So this sauce is going to be a little bit sweet then? Uh, it's, the ginger gives you the spice, the yeah. cake, the cumin gives you the spice. It's a mix of sweet and salt. Okay, we will see afterwards. Yes. Yeah, it's my... <laughs> yes, can so I how long have you been in Malaysia again? 20 years. 20 years well, now? Well, my kids were born here. I see. Yeah, sorry. So you must have been enjoying getting all the spices in Malaysia as well? Yeah, I do. I'm quite lucky like that I'm quite close to home. Right. Yeah. And uh, almost all spices are available here. Yeah. So it isn't that bad. So do you get most of your spices here from Malaysia? I or? do, I do. Okay. If you go to Brickfields, actually, you'll find everything. <laughs> yes. Okay, so if in this dressing, like I said, if you want to use um, lime juice, you can. You can use white wine vinegar, you can use red wine vinegar. Really, anything you, you fancy. Okay, it goes in there. Next, like I said, olive oil. Olive oil, yeah. olive oil last? Yes, last. While you're whisking it at the same time? Yes, yeah, maybe you can help me hold that. Okay. Just go little by little. There you go. See what happens is it thickens as you whisk. Yeah. And yeah you keep keep adding and adding and adding. There you go. Until the thickness you want. For the recipe, you can look up online. It's actually on YouTube as well as um, my social media and cookbooks. What is your YouTube channel called? Sapnan. Sabnanan? Yes. And uh, Instagram as well? Sabnanan, yes. Okay. And in the book, this recipe is there. So it's a great one for Christmas if you're looking for a little bit of spice. Yeah. That's it. Give that a taste. Oops. If you want it uh, spicier, you can actually add in black pepper. Black pepper? Yeah. But if you want it. Otherwise, you can just leave it as is. Is it served in your mm. restaurant as well? Not yet. Not maybe. yet? <laughs> so many new dishes here. At MIGF Culinary, or, like they are launching and debuting here. Are, are you just testing on our audience? Yes. Yes. Maybe I can get the feedback from them. So you all get to vote whether she gets on the menu or not. Yes. But it's in your cookbook already, right? It is in my cookbook. Yes. We have a few recipes, a uh, few dishes from the cookbook actually in the menu too. Okay. 
There you go. That's done. Now let me show you how it's plated. So we've got the beetroot, we've got the dressing. What goes usually with it, what I add in is some feta cheese because it gives it the nice salt, salty you know, yeah. cheese. You could use any cheese. I've got the pink radish and I've got the pecans. Okay, let me show you how it's assembled. It's really simple. So let's say if you want a fancy meal, impress your friends at a restaurant or even just having dinners at home. So the longest process of this whole dish actually is, is literally the yes. beetroot. Yes. Okay. Simple, right? Yeah. Makes you look good as a chef too. It's very easy. <laughs> My staff loves it. There you go. But you're right, it's actually very hard to find good vegetarian dishes. So does it your is. cookbook have lots of vegetarian yes, dishes then? Yes, it does. It does have a lot of vegetarian dishes. I'm just going to drizzle it a tiny bit. Just drizzle it over the yeah, uh, yeah. romaine. Okay. And, let's see, sorry. I've got some beetroots. I go on top. The beetroot must be very soft now after, it is, it after is. being baked, So that's right? what happens. But you don't want it too too soft either so like I said just insert a toothpick or a you know cake um, uh, one of those cake testers yeah and that should do yeah well with the feta cheese and the beetroot like that it does look like beef carpaccio actually. it does anyone allergic to nuts they just have to just not put it in right yes <laughs> you can just keep it you should do a little bit of fancy which I actually forgot to do and feta. Feta cheese. Pink radish. Pink radish. Feta, you can completely skip. I, I kind of like the cheese, the, the little bite of um, saltiness, saltiness of the cheese, in right? It yeah. kind of balances the. Yeah. Yeah. Balances the rawness of the veg uh, Ve vegetable. vegetables, yeah. Not too much. Let's just keep that. That's enough. And there you go. It's so easy. I'm definitely going to try this at home. Yeah, it, it, it it's that's what Simple. the yeah. whole idea is. I mean, you want to go back home, even what you eat in the restaurant. You just want to go back home and then try it. That, that's that's what. And then, of course, you're always hosting dinners, you're trying what to, you know, you're working, you don't know what to make, and this is one of those dishes. And your plating is making it very pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, that also says that you can actually make the fanciest dinner simple too. So, I'm going to show you how that is done. Okay. And then just the pecans. Okay. There you go. And again, just to finish it off, so that the beetroot has... There you go. It's done? done? Yes, that's done. And simple. that's it. That it's chef really Sapna's simple. Beetroot carpaccio looking incredibly presentable. Chef, can you hold this up for our... Sure. And I'll show yeah. you another version of it. Doesn't it look good, guys? Very, very pretty, right? Thank you. Thank you. Now, let me show you, if, if you're at home, what you would do. It doesn't have to be this, you could, you know, just a salad, whole big salad plate. And see how you can actually prep up something really gorgeous in minutes. There you go. That's it. So you're going to go back home and try it? Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. So anybody has any questions, they can. Yeah, beetroot is very high in antioxidants, so it's actually a great option. Great for your blood. Yeah. Great for your skin. There you go. That's it. Turning pink, otherwise. That is the surf more casual, Ma at home more casual kind of home party. Yeah. We've got a big, good, a lot of people coming in. Put three plates of this out, and that's it. 
Right, and this one could be the uh, plating yes. cost so by cost Just meal. to show you both versions because I do know there's a lot of us here who cook at home. Yes. And who want to have a impress their girlfriends. Yeah. Yes, date then night. you can impress your girlfriends with this. Date night. You see how simple it is? Even it is. You can make it. Very yeah. simple. You go to work, just make it one day before. That's it. Done. Some nuts. Keep it as simple, as rustic as you can. There you go, done. That's it, done. Under it's five minutes. Literally. Literally. And for real, guys, you can make it at home. Can they yeah. try it? Yes, I'm going to play it for everybody. Just okay. give me a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, another dish not on the menu somewhere, but from the cookbook, cooked by the chef herself. Please, come, line up here. She's going to be plating it for you to try. Not very often we get to eat off the plate and uh, cooking off a celebrity chef from a TV show. Chef Sabna has got her own TV show on the Asian Food Channel and also her, she's the uh, author of a successful cookbook. And she's just done for us a beetroot carpaccio. This is a vegetarian version of a carpaccio and it's got feta cheese, pink Pecans, radish, yeah. nuts, pecan nuts, right? Pecan nuts. Um, you can, of course, put almond flakes. Come, let me help you. I should get it up. So chef, if someone wants to have a fine dining, impressive vegetarian dinner, they can come to Goa, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do have a lot of vegetarian food. What yes, would you? What, what would be your best sellers there? Oh, we, oh, there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there's a Goan chili prawn. It's actually Portuguese. Uh, a Goan chili prawn. Goan chili prawn. It's just prawns that's cooked in uh, butter, and oh. a little bit of secret spices. The spices. But. but but barely anything. It's uh, Goa had a lot of Portuguese influence, which means we have Spanish Portuguese style of, you know, food, yeah. which is now dying in, in in Goa itself. You don't really find that a lot. So uh, I'm trying to bring that back. So yeah. To Malaysia. Thank you very much. <laughs> we have that. Then we have a mutton curry, Malabar, which is Kerala style mutton curry. Mutton curry, Kerala style mutton, mutton curry. curry. We have that. Then we've got. Um, our best sellers is also um, Kashmiri lamb chops. It yes, we heard about that. You Kashmiri heard about lamb that? chop, yeah. yes. It is the talk of town. <laughs> it's just um, a lamb chops that's marinated in a blend of spices and then fire grilled, that's it. Okay. Yes, it's the secret spices that go in there. That's why they call you the queen of spices. Oh, yes, <laughs> I think so. Uh, you just give it out. Want to just give it up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The spoons are here. Okay, I'll be serving you. So please line up, come and try some of the beetroot carpaccio. Yeah. Here at the main stage here, we have Chef Sapna Anand, celebrity chef from the restaurant Goa and uh, Escort uh, Towers in Jalan Pinang, opposite KLCC. She's from Goa and she's brought her Goan taste down here for Malaysians to try and she is now serving up the uh, beetroot carpaccio, a vegetarian dish, easily served up. 
And you can come up here and grab a plate and have a tasting portion. If you like what you are tasting, please give the chef some support. Go to her YouTube channel, Sapna Anand. You can also find her on Facebook, Instagram, all at Sapna Anand. Yes. Chef, what is your opening hours for your restaurant? Uh, 11 to 10, uh, to 12. To, uh, sorry, 11 to 11. 11 to 11. Yeah. Non-stop, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m.? 11 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Right. Is it better to do reservations? Or yes, be, definitely so, better to do reservations. Right. Definitely better to do reservations at Goa if you're planning to dine there. Yeah, the two, yeah. So you're tasting a dish from her cookbook called New Indian Kitchen that you can actually purchase at MPH and different bookstores across Malaysia. It's not served at her restaurant, so you're actually having it the first time served by her. Having. Thank we you so much, Chef. It will be coming up in the res uh, restaurant menu. Simple and refreshing dish. Beef carpaccio is completely vegetarian. So if you want to go pure vegetarian, you can just uh, skip out the, uh, the cheese, right? Yes. Yeah. So you, it's vegan. Then, yeah, it's right? vegan, yes. Yeah, it yeah. is vegan. Yes.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the chef Sapna Anand from Goa. Goa restaurant serving up a beetroot carpaccio. Very easy to make. Please give her a big round of applause. Was it nice? Is it delicious? Refreshing, right? Vegetarian version uh, of the beef carpaccio.